Well, Garrick, just a long way from uh, South Bend oh, yeah. uh, when we first <clears throat> met. What a privilege it is to, to be here with you, and uh, we are so excited for you to do this interview with us. Absolutely. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You guys uh, obviously have helped the community of South Bend a lot, and I mean, for me, it's just kind of spread the word and make sure everybody knows about the Croc Center in Indiana and just know, know about what you guys do there. So what did you think when you heard that the Salvation Army was building this facility in South Bend uh, and we were going to put it where we put it? Mm -hmm. uh, I wish it was there a couple years earlier so <laughs> I could use it a lot more in high school. But um, honestly, every time I go back to South Bend, most of the time we either go there and play basketball, go there, throw routes. The location's kind of perfect. It's right, right downtown, so mm -hmm. um, it's easy for all the inner city kids to get there. Um, most kids go there after school, so... Pretty sure my dad still works security over there, so it was a family affair for sure for mm -hmm. us, and we just we love going there. It's clean, easy to get to, and all the people are awesome in there. I always want to talk a little bit about you back in high school days. You were quite the uh, superstar in Indiana football. Oh yeah, uh, high school was a lot of fun, and we uh, our team was pretty decent. Our senior year, we uh, made it to the state championship. Felt like I was got the ball almost every single play, which was a ton of fun. But um, we had a good team and to make it the state championship and kind of get the word out on South Bend football and the kind of athletes that we have in South Bend was, uh, was a lot of fun. I think you alone changed the nature of the game in South Bend at the time. Uh, it's the off season now. You're hanging out at the Croc Center, you know, working out and you're out on the turf field. Mm -hmm. Now, I thought you were like the fastest kid I ever <laughs> seen, uh, but you said you had to get faster. Tell me a little bit about why you, you felt like you needed to do that. At that time uh, in my career, most of the college coaches told me I was too slow to play for them. So um, for me, it was just a chip on my shoulder to go out there and work hard and just try to get better as a football player, try to get faster. And the Croc Center, I think, opened right when I was finishing high school. And it was just easy to get there, easy to work out. I mean, obviously, the nicest facility in South Bend. So um, for me, it was an easy choice to get go over there and, and start working out there and to try to get better. So tell me a little bit about your journey. I know high school was an amazing thing, mm -hmm. but uh, you know you jumped around a little bit in college. Yeah, um, obviously it wasn't the, the journey I thought it'd be, but started off at SMU right out of high school, enrolled early and played my freshman season and just, I felt like I didn't love football like I did in high school and I knew that wasn't the place I wanted to be in. So for me, it was kind of going back, getting closer to home, which Bowling Green was my first scholarship offer. Dieter over the middle, touchdown! 27-10, Bowling Green. And once I got there, I mean, that love for football came back. I had a good season my junior year. I kind of knew that Coach Baber was looking to leave, so I was exploring the grad transfer route. I mean, I was going to graduate right after the season. So for me, it was just kind of see what opportunities were out there. If nothing, stay at Bowling Green. But Alabama randomly came in the conversation. They offered me a scholarship and yep. visited, and it was kind of hard to turned down a place like Alabama, so got there and being a part of that um, tradition, being a part of that program, being under Coach Saban, just seeing how um, everybody buys into what he's teaching, it's just, it, was, it was an awesome experience and playing on the number one team in the country was pretty awesome as well. So how do you take all these lessons that you uh, have learned along the way, and the journey was interesting, and, and, and now here you are in the NFL, mm -hmm. uh, uh, made the team, played for the Kansas City Chiefs, how do we tell the kids they got to work hard, they got to figure out what they got to do in order to, to uh, be successful in life? Yeah, hard work is kind of where I made my, my living at and still do. I mean, I had great coaches in my high school career that kind of guided me to, kind of guided me and taught me what I needed to do to get better. And as long as you're um, accepting that coaching, um, it's working hard, doing what they say, uh, just being a great person off the field, getting out there, talking to people, getting to know people, and. I feel like when you talk to people, you learn lessons that you would never uh, think of. So for me, it's just uh, just doing those things, staying positive and, and just working hard, like you said. Well, you know, the Salvation Army, um, we're about serving God. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we serve the Lord through the mission that we do. God has blessed you in an incredible way. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that I loved about it is that you were always willing to help whoever oh, yeah. came. Mm -hmm. You always found time for them. Yeah. Uh, last summer, uh, my Colette and I, we showed up uh, and uh, you were getting ready to do a camp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was something I kind of always wanted to do was just to have a camp, get back to South Bend, kind of give back, kind of be a positive role model for all the kids there. We had a pretty good turnout last year. I think we had about 150 kids. 
this year it's going to be completely free. We're getting a bunch of sponsors, so I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully get over 200 kids at least, so to get things rolling with that, it's going to be pretty awesome. Absolutely. Well, thank you for this time. We really appreciate it. We love you. We love your family. It's a pleasure uh, watching you play football. Like I said, I w love watching the highlights. I don't know how you can catch the ball <laughs> with one hand falling out of bounds mm -hmm. and still think about keeping your feet yep. in bounds. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. Appreciate yep. you. Look forward to uh, talking to you again soon. Appreciate you, man.